Morning, y'all. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So we are still plugging away at our three to six month uh, pantry storage, uh, build up storage. Uh, we're not completely there. And I just wanted to share with you guys, the kids and I are heading out on a another trip today uh, to pick up a few more things. So when I first started this um, challenge, I found a sheet. It was a food storage checklist. Um, it came from organizedmom.net. Organizedmom.net is the right uh, website. And she has this broken down into 52 weeks. So if you do a little bit every week for 52 weeks, you should have a year's worth of food supplied in your you know, storage area. Well, I didn't find this sheet until week 28. So I'm behind. I'm trying to now play catch up with my sheet. So I'm actually on week 30. I'm on week 30, but what I decided to do on week 28 was to go back to weeks one through whatever and how much money I had at the time. I just did whatever weeks I could grab at that time. So what I did was I went back and I picked up as many weeks as I could that was trying to get myself caught back up. So her plan, this plan that I found on her, let me, let me make this, let me throw this in there. Her plan that I found online was for two grown adults. We have one adult and two kids here that eat like adults, but just on her plan, I could feed my family. Now, if you have a larger family, you have to make adjustments for larger families. Also, she does not have condiments, spices, um, what is it? She doesn't have condiment spices. She doesn't have any household items on here. So make adjustments for that as well. Because I have couponed in the past. I have coupon stores in my garage. I have laundry soap, um, bleach, paper towels, toilet paper, which some of those are on this list. But it's really just paper towels and toilet paper. It's no laundry soap, dish soap. There's no body body washes or any type of um, toiletries. There's no toiletries on here. So I am going to go to Harris Teeter, which is one of my local grocery stores, because I think they have a sale on toothpaste and I have coupons that should give me free toothpaste. So I'm going to go and try to pick those up if they're free, because Aldi and Harris Teeter are kind of close together. So I'm not making a separate trip. Also on here, we're a keto family. And so myself and Alana are keto and Jackson is vegetarian. So there are, you know, some people say, well, Shakima, that's not keto friendly. I get it. But the things that I'm purchasing on here are such that Jackson can eat anything on here. Uh, there are some grains and some beans and different things that we would not necessarily eat as keto. But if things were to go to a, place where, you know, like they were limiting the amount of meat you could get, or they were limiting the amount of beans you could get. If we have so many limits, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat whatever we have in this house. If I can't go out, if they do another stay at home order or, you know, what have you, whatever they decide to do. And when I say they, I mean the governors or the mayors or whoever is in charge of making those decisions. If we're put on another stay at home order, then I've got to make sure that I have in the house what I can have to, um, you know, continue to feed my family. So I'm making adjustments to this list. There are certain things that I don't buy. We don't buy flour. So I'm not getting three five pound bags of flour. We just don't use it. We use almond flour. So I will have to sub that out, but I haven't been to Costco, which is where I used to get it. So I'm working down the weeks as I'm able to with what I can afford. Again, budget conscious, um, what my kids will eat. And this is not just to have food. So as we continue, because what I should be doing based on this list is I should be recycling my food. So whatever week I'm on, once I get to week 52, then I start back over on week one when we hit January, that first week of January. But we should be recycling through that food so that we don't just have food sitting on the shelves. I'm not about just having stuff to have it. 
let's be using things and building back up. For me, in my head, I'm thinking this is a way to check each week. I'm still putting back things that I'm using um, just in case. Now, I do my normal grocery shopping, what we normally eat. But I do want to make sure that I'm able to get some of the additional things that um, we might not traditionally get or the things that are shelf stable, the things that will last us for a very long time, um, just in case, like I said, I have never in my 44 years of living lived through uh, going to the grocery store and they have limited the amount of meat you can get until this last four months came up. And it was like um, two two packages of meat, period. That wasn't two packages of chicken, two packages of beef, two packages of pork. It was two packages of meat, period. Never heard of that. Never went to the grocery store before and haven't found toilet paper. And you're looking, I was in another state looking for toilet paper and they didn't have to. And I'm like, what? So I don't live in fear. I don't live in doomsday preparation, all of that. That's not what I'm saying. But it is always a good practice to have what you need for your family. The kids and I have replanted beans in our garden. So we're we're all about getting that stuff going back again and making sure we have what we need. We live on a third of an acre. And um, I was seeing something on Facebook. There's a book called A Quarter of an Acre. And it's about how using a quarter of an acre can have your family self-sustained. And so again, not doomsday or anything like that, but I'd love to be self-sustained or a little bit more self-sustained than I am because if I'm trying to go to the grocery store and find things that are not available when I could just go outside to my backyard and be able to find things there. So again, it's priorities for your family. It's what you think is helpful. It's um, how you can be prepped and... And not even just for your family. I always, always, always think, what if somebody else that I knew needed something and they didn't have it and I didn't have the physical finances to, to help them? I could go to my pantry and I could pull out laundry soap, dish soap, body wash, and then at least a week's worth of food, some type of way. It may not be the food that people are used to eating, but if you're hungry, it will suffice. And so this is just to make sure that um, we have enough to get us through if we need to. I don't always have extra money, but I know one time the Lord had told me to give this family something. And so what I did, and I'm running around my house trying to figure out what I have. I had a turkey that I didn't use because I had had a couple turkeys because you buy a certain amount, you get a turkey for this much. And so that was last year. I had bought a couple turkeys. I had an extra turkey in my freezer. I had an extra bag of, um, I had uh, 10 pounds of chick chicken. You know, they had a couple kids, a husband and wife and a couple kids. And I gave that away. And then I had some other things. And I was at the grocery store and I heard Holy Spirit say, buy this, buy this, buy this. And I'm like, well, I don't even eat any of this. And it's like, it's not for you. This is for somebody else. So again, I want to, you know, put that thought in our head. It's not always about getting something for us. Sometimes there are other people. And I know people will say, well, Shakima, what if they don't eat what you eat? Hungry people will eat what they can if you're hungry. So I'm not saying they have to eat what I eat, but if this is all I have to offer and you're hungry, I believe that people would make an adjustment. Just like me, I'm keto, but if I needed to do something different, I'd do something different. So Anyway, to the list. So I'm going to be working on, um, we had a uh, uh, unexpected blessing come in, $125 for our um, three to six month pantry stock up. 15 of those dollars went to our tithe. We just believe in tithing off of that. Um, if it was on a gift card, we wouldn't do that because it's hard to break up the gift card. But I have at times taken 10% off of the gift card if it was like a food gift card and I put that food aside and we've gifted that food away. So we're giving it away some kind of way. Doesn't matter to me how it gets out of here as long as we're able to plant it into good ground. So I'm going to take $110 and work the remaining weeks of this list. So I have successfully been able to do up through week 20 with some exceptions. 
I didn't get flour because we don't use flour and we don't use sugar. Um, and I kept forgetting the toilet paper. So I'm going to go back to week nine and pick up toilet paper. I might pick up some feminine items because it has tampons, but we don't use those. We use sanitary uh, pads. So I'm going to get some of those. That's from week nine. Um, week 17, I'm going to pick up peanut butter. I'm going to look for chocolate chips. I'll pick up some of those. And then um, we don't do vegetable shortening. So I may pick up just butter. I may get some butter in the place of that. I'll make myself a note because we don't do shortening. But I'm going to put butter here. Also, we have made adjustments to this list. Like one time they had oatmeal, but we got oatmeal. So we got grits the next time. Or they had pasta, but we got um, potatoes, uh, flaky potato, um, mashed potato flakes. We got that instead. So this is just a guide. This is not the end all be all. This is not the only list out there. There's a plenty of lists. One of my friends in um, the African-American homeschool moms group took this list and then decided she needed to do something different for her family. And she made an additional list, shared that with all of us. There were spices on there. So I think I'm going to get some spices this time because we go through quite a lot of spices. So I want to make sure that I have enough on hand um, to do what my family needs done. The other thing people asked me were, is, um, am I concerned about the heat in my garage? Because my garage is not temperature controlled. And so here's what I say. I've had a, I've had a garage pantry since I've lived in this house. I've been in this house four years, four years and two months. So May the 1st was four years. I've always had a garage pantry. We've never had any issues out in my garage. I've never had any issues whatsoever with anything I've put out there. What I did do was anything that was like pasta, um, oatmeal, grits, those types of things. I made a space in my inside pantry, just in the top of the inside pantry. And that's where I put those things. So they're not out in the garage pantry. All I have out there are household items, feminine items, toiletries, and canned goods. So I feel totally okay that my canned goods will be perfectly fine out there. They always have. And we are continuing to do a rotation of those goods. So I am not concerned that um, we're going to lose anything out in the garage. In the wintertime, it's cold. So, you know, I don't worry about it being cold. I just live my best life and it works out perfectly fine at this point. So for today, on um, week 21, it has the three five pound bags of flour. We're not getting that because we don't do regular flour. I'll mark this with my purple pen. Purple is something we did not get or we do not buy. Green are the things we did get. So I am going to get toilet paper. So that's toilet paper times two because, so it says one four pack, one four pack toilet paper. So I'm looking to get eight rolls of toilet paper today. I think I can get a few more and that would be perfect. Honey is on the list. We don't do honey. I am going to sub that out for sugar-free syrup. So I need one two sugar-free syrups. I'm going to have to go to Walmart to get that because Aldi doesn't sell sugar-free syrup. Cocoa powder. Then we're back to veggies. We're back to rice. And then they have some seasonings on there. They have Lowry seasoning salt. Well, I don't use seasoning salt, but I am going to pick up garlic, onion powder, chili powder, uh, cumin. So some of those types of things. Um, then we're back to brown sugar. We don't use that. Um, I'll have to get the keto friendly version. So I'm going to mark that out. Maybe I'll pick that up at Walmart, depending on how much money that I do have. I'll pick up some at Walmart. We used a Lacanto Monk Food Golden. It's cheaper if you get it at Costco, but uh, we haven't been to Costco. So I might need to go to Costco. I do have a Costco trip planned on Thursday. My friend, her birthday is Thursday. And so I did, her daughter lives in Florida and she asked me if I would go and pick up her some flowers for her. And I said I would. Uh, head over to Costco and pick some up. So I will see what the kids are not able to get. Well, I won't take them to Costco. Um, see what I'm able to get when I head over to Costco. That would work for food storage. 
All right, so I feel like I'm doing a lot of explanations and I don't mean to do that, but I do want to walk us through this process because again, you have to tailor make, you have to tailor make any list that fits your family. For some people, I have gotten some great feedback like, oh, Shakima, I never thought of that before, or I never would have done that before, or um, how do you do this versus that? And so I just want to, again, make sure that I'm being a good steward over what comes in my home, but I also want to make sure that my kids have what they need. Like I said before, we have never experienced shortages, but I can go on my Aldi today. Today is July 21st, 2020. And if I go to the bean section, it will say limit four. We've never had that before. We have been able to just stock up and get whatever we needed. So that is a new thing for us. It's transition. It's different. And um, I just want to be prepared for what I need to be prepared for. Jackson eats all of the things. He eats the rice. He eats. And I have a, and I am, I want to support his choices but I look at his little face and it's getting so round. But again, they're not in the gym. They do their uh, Taekwondo classes via Zoom, which is not the same as being in the Dojong. We are still not in the Dojong. We have been out since March, but they are now doing their Zoom classes. They didn't even start Zoom classes for about a month or so, six weeks maybe. So now they are doing their Zoom classes and that does help with the exercise. I just know carbs aren't good for me and I don't want to, I don't want my kids to, struggle in their health like I've struggled in my health over the years. I'm in a good pattern now. I'm um I have been lazy, dirty keto for two years. I'm even moving more towards a little bit more clean keto. I haven't done a lot of keto videos lately just because um you know it's just my personal journey. It's not maybe everybody's and I don't want to have to deal with the keto police. I do the best I can with my finances. Um, and so that works out. One other thing I wanted to mention this, her, her plan is to use about $10 every week for preps. I watched the Alaska prepper, Alaskan prepper, and I think he talks about payday prep. So every time you get paid, you use a little bit to get something. So her plan is to use about $10 a week. I am only paid once a month, so that would be $40 for me, but $40 out of $250 because $50 goes to my summer groceries. So that would leave me with $210 for the month to shop. That's a little extreme for me. So I'm looking at doing about $5 per week per per pay period, um, which is about $20 a month. I can stomach that a little better. Remember, not everybody's... Um, paychecks are the same not everybody's grocery budgets are the same so give people grace and mercy if you're able to go out and stock up for a year's worth at one time praise ye the lord hallelujah some of us are not there we just have to do it little by little thing by thing it might be i can only get one extra can this week whatever you can do do that and feel good about it because i've had some people say shakima um I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. Couldn't figure it out, but this helped me. And again, this is not my sheet. Organizemom.net is where I found it. But I am using this as a template to work it for my family. And we're living our best life. There's only a few things on here we were not able to get. And that's because I would like to stay as keto friendly as I'm able with my goals. So the flowers and the sugars, I'm not going to buy that. I'm just not going to because I don't want to use that. Um, I haven't even since in the last couple of weeks trying to go clean keto as I can. Um, I haven't even baked a keto treat because almond flour, which is better for me than the regular flour, it tends to be a negative effect on my body. So I have to be very sparing with my keto treats uh, because it just doesn't put my body in the forward movement that I need it to be in. So anywho, the kids and I are going to head out to Aldi. They should be opening up very soon. And if Aldi's not open, we'll pop into Harris Teeter and go ahead and pick up our free toothpaste. And then we will move right along. I am going to go to the ATM machine and pull out um, cash this morning so that I am able to have the exact amount that I need. Um, and I'm not using my debit card, buying cash, live your best life. And that's what we're on our way to do. So we will see you guys in just a little bit. Can you give me that wipey thing, Jack, a lot? I don't think there are any. Is it out?
Look at all this. Okay guys, we are heading into Aldi. Two one pound things of butter. Let's get two of those. Um, veggies, rice, and seasonings is what I get from there. So instead of getting the seasoned salt, I'll get just garlic powder, onion powder, those types of things. Oh. Okay. Okay, they have fruit, Jack. Peaches and extra light. You can only get four, so get four. This is six super rolls. This is six rolls. This is equal to 11 regular rolls. This is equal to 12 rolls. Let's get this one. This is cheaper. On my list, I had four packs of toilet paper, so I got that one. Then I had. No, paper towels aren't on here. We already got a school point. All right, so here's an um, example of a substitution or making it work for your family. This tells us to get down here, uh, let me put it down. It says to get, um, where is it? It says, yeah, two pounds of uh, shortening. We don't do shortening, so I got two pounds of butter. So I just subbed it out with butter because that's what we use. Also, this was not on the list, but it's imperative for me. Now, I've been getting everything for the kids, but I drink coffee, and so I don't have any extra cans of coffee. So I'm gonna use that as, um, I'm gonna use that as one of my stocking up items, because this will do 96 ounce cups, and if I need to decrease the amount of coffee that I drink just to have enough, then that works out perfect. Okay, now, come on, we need to go back. Alrighty, you guys. So the kids and I are back from the grocery store. We went to three stores. We went to Aldi, Harris, Teeter, and um, Walmart. 
So off of my list, what I did pick up from week nine was toilet paper. I also picked up from week 20, I subbed out shortening for butter. From week 21, I picked up toilet paper. I got week 23, which is five cans of veg. I got the seasonings. I didn't get seasoning salt because we don't use that, but I got seasonings. Um, I got week 26 fruit. We did not get week 27 because a friend of mine bought some from Costco and she's gonna bring me some of hers. We got, uh, we did not get the four pack of toilet paper. There was a limit on toilet paper at Aldi, so we didn't get that. But we did get, instead of um, tampons, right here where it says tampons, we got um, liners, because that's what we use. So from week nine, we got the liners. And then week 30, we got liners. We also got five cans of meat. So we did not get week 31, but we did get week 32. So we're just working our way down. And then I also added in or subbed in some things that were not on this list. So again, make your list work for yourself. So let me share with you what we were able to pick up at um, Harris Teeter. So as far as preps are concerned, we got two toothpaste. These were 10 for 10 or a dollar a piece. I had a 50 cents off coupon that doubled to a dollar. So these both were free. I thought I had four coupons. They were different coupons, but I couldn't find the other two. So I only picked up two of these. I needed four, but that's okay. I picked up two. And then the poise pads were $4.99. I had a $3 off coupon that made those $1.99 a piece. So I picked up two of those. So that's just preps. Um, in addition to that, we picked up five cheeses. Uh, we got our signals crossed. They were three for five. We should have gotten six, but Alana picked up five. No worries. We'll figure it out next time. So we got three shredded and two um, sliced. Then I've, I've been craving steak, so I picked up. This is a, was a markdown for four eighty four, Angus steak. Eggs were two sixty nine. Quest cookies were two for four. Alana paid for two of hers, and I got two for mom. And then Jackson asked for honey roasted peanuts. So at Harris Teeter, our grand total was thirty four nineteen. So that's how much we spent at Harris Teeter. Um, coming over to Aldi. We got paper towels, which were not on the list, but I believe in prepping paper towels because they were hard to find last time. So I picked up paper towels. I picked up toilet paper. Now that toilet paper has eight roll, 12 rolls. So we actually did, if you go back to your list, it says one four pack roll. Then down here, it says four pack roll. And then over here, it says four pack roll. So if I go back and look at that, I did get three, the equivalent of three four pack rolls of toilet paper. So that's what we got there. Um, we are out of eggs, so we just picked up three eggs. Then we got a veg. So Jackson was asking for red sauce. So we're gonna make some. We got five cans of crushed tomatoes. But of course, these tomatoes had a limit of four. So we got picked up a small stewed. Then we also picked up from our list, baking co cocoa baking powder, and this is how I got what I did for the Lowry seasoning salt. Instead of getting that, I got chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, lemon pepper seasoning, and Jackson Ash for crushed red pepper. Then we got the five cans of fruit. We got some peaches, some oranges, and some pineapples. And then the fruit were still on a four limit as well. Coffee was not on the list, but I'm an avid coffee drinker. So I picked up two things. These will just be for the um, stock up. I won't use those. I'll get some from Costco when I go next time. But that's what that's going to be for is for stock up. So I got two things of decaf coffee. Then one of the uh, weeks asked for five cans of meat. The last couple times we've gotten tuna. This time we just picked up this luncheon meat. Then in the place of the um, thing of Crisco or the shortening, we picked up three one pound packages of butter. Then just for um, around the house, two low carb tortillas, picked up some green beans. Jackson asked for dried cranberries and bananas. We also picked up carrots and two creams, heavy whipping creams. And then at Aldi, our total for all you see here was 68.56. Then we topped off our trip at Walmart. We almost didn't go to Walmart, but we ended up having just a little bit left. Um, chocolate chips, Lily's is $5. So on this list, somewhere it has, oh, 
two bags of chocolate chips. So if you think about it, regular chocolate chips that are not keto friendly are a little bit cheaper. For the price I paid for this one, I probably could have gotten two or three bags. But because we're keto, I try to just pick this one up. So I got one bag of these. In place of the honey, I got sugar-free syrup. That'll go for the stock up too. Peanut butter was a little bit more expensive this week, so I only picked up one. I think I'm three short on peanut butter based on the list. Then we just got some sweet relish, some uh, pork cracklings, which I, I like. We got some uh, flavor packets, and then we needed some of that clear lax. And then at Walmart, I spent right at $23.49. So let me just say this about Walmart because... Um, you know, being Dave Ramsey, I try to do cash only. Now at the Walmart that I shop at, for their self-checkouts, you can only use a card. They will not take cash. So I had to stand in line today. It wasn't a problem because I had a few items. So I went to like the 20 items or less aisle. It didn't take a long time. But sometimes Walmart lines can be extremely long. So, um, you know, if you're going to shop cash, you just have to be, that was an inconvenience because I would have, I would have checked myself out much faster. Um, there were very few people in the checkout, you know, self-checkout lane. It would have just um, been quicker. But again, no problem because I was trying to shop with cash today. Um, the lists were pretty good. I'm looking at my list. I'm somewhere around week 32. And then I just have 33 through 52 to finish. So she calculates about $10 a week for 52 weeks is right at about $520. Again, that is for a family of two adults. You can go back and recalculate for your family. Even if you don't um, stock up and get as much as you would have gotten, at least you're able to get a few things here and there. We're looking really good. We're going to be in some good shape here before too long. I mean, I feel like we're in good shape right now. But anyway, there it is. Just wanted to share with you guys how we were moving along. I'm going to go back and color code my sheet, finish, you know, checking off and circling the things that I still need to get and that type of thing. Um, but we're, we're, we're feeling pretty good about where we are up to this point. So anywho, we just want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you're prepping, let us know what you've picked up or what you feel like we might need to add to our list. I know somebody added in that I needed blankets and sheets and um, medical supplies. We have all of that. This is just my food list. I have not shown. We have um, a big chest that has all kinds of um, um, bedspreads and sheets. And then we found our medical box that has gauze and um, throat drops and stuff for upset tummies. We do have boxes for those. I'm just sharing or showing with you my food stuffs until I'm able to finish up that list. May be able to show you some other things as well. But right now, my focus is on the food. So that's what I've been showing. But we have a ton of blankets, a ton. I mean, we we have it over here at our house. It might not be at your house, but we do have it at ours. I'm trying to give some stuff away. But anyway, there it is. So we do thank you all so much for stopping by. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.